ओड एन ओड इज अ टाइप ऑफ लिरिकल स्टेंजर सो वी विल बी कलेक्टिंग सम की वर्ड्स एंड दैट वी सो दैट वी कैन फॉर्म डेफिनेशन बाई आर ओन सो इट इज अ लिरिकल स्टेंजर एंड एलेबोरेटली स्ट्रक्चर्ड पॉइंट प्रेजिंग और ग्लोरिफाइंग एन इवेंट और इंडिविजुअल डिस्क्राइबिंग नेचर इंटेलेक्चुअली एज वेल एज इमोशनली सो टिल हियर यू कैन हैव यूर डेफिनेशन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द parts of classic ode i will give you a shortcut to remember these parts a classic ode is structured into three major parts first is strophe antistrophe and the epode now if you find difficulty to remember these simply remember the shortcut c the choir goes to left side and goes to right side while singing uh while singing the ode okay so you can remember this is shortcut this way it is left so you can remember strophe the when they they sing the part strophe they will go to left side when they will sing anti strophe they will go to right side and when they will sing epode they will be in middle part i hope you got the the shortcut what c is left anti strophe uh, right and this is for middle now let's talk about some uh, other types of ode like ir irregular here typical if we say the typical forms of ode we have pindaric ode horatian ode and irregular ode what is difference between these three pindaric odes follow the form or an style of pindar that's why it is pindaric ode horatian ode follow the convention of horace that's why these are called horatian irregular why we call uh, irregular because they do not follow either one irregular odes uses the uh, rhyme but not the three parts form of pindaric ode nor the two or four line stanza of horatian ode that's why we call them irregular odes the ode is a lyric poem remember this always it conveys exalted and inspired emotions it is a lyric in an elaborate form expressed in a language that is imaginative dignified and sincere so remember these words okay if somebody asks what is ode if there is a question what is an ode you will have to have have to use these words imaginative dignified and sincerely sincere and this is a lyric poem so lyric and ode is of greek origin so remember this one it is of greek now let's talk about english odes odes in english literature the earliest odes if we talk about these are by edmund spenser and the name of the odes were epithalamium and prothalamium in the 17th century the most important original odes in english are by abraham cowley these were iambic but had irregular and irregular line length pattern rhyme schemes cowley based the principles of his pindaric on an apparent misunderstanding of pindar's metrical practice but nonetheless others widely imitated his style with notable success by the john dryden so the next one was john dryden so spencer cowley and john dryden you can remember for uh, writing beautiful odes the pindar's meter being better understood in 18th century so it was 18th century when people started understanding pindar's meter what meter he was using the fashion for pindaric ode faded though there are notable actual pindaric odes by sir thomas gray the progress of poesy and the bard 
around 1800 now it is 1800 when william wordsworth revived cowley's pindaric for one of his finest poems the imitation of mortality or other also wrote odes like uh, samuel tyler Coleridge, keats and pb shelley who wrote odes with regular stanza patterns Shelley's Ode to the West Wind, written in 14 line Terja Rima uh, Stenjas, is a major poem in the form. Perhaps the greatest odes of the 19th century, however, were Keats' five great odes on 1819, which included Ode to a Nightingale, Ode on Melancholy, Ode on a Gracian Urn, Ode to Psyche, to the Autumn, to Autumn. After Keats, there have been comparatively few major odes in English. One major exception is the fourth verse of the poem for the Fallen by Lawrence Pinion, Pinion, which is often known as the Ode to the Fallen or simply the Ode. So you can uh, write down this one. In 19th century, W. H. Auden also wrote Ode. One of the most popular poems from his earlier career when he lived in London in opposition to people, people's ignorance over the reality of war. In an interview, Auden once stated that he had intended to title the poem My Silver Age in mockery of the supposedly imperial golden age, however, chose Ode as it seemed to provide a more sensitive exploration of war pair. Ode on a Grecian urn, beautiful ode. While an uh, phrases also functions as an ode to the artistic beauty. The English ode most most common rhyme scheme is A B A B C D E C D E. This is this is the most common rhyming scheme for ode. Some uh, notable practitioners of Ode are Thomas Gray, we discussed earlier, John Keats, Samuel Tyler Coleridge, William Wordsworth, P. P. Shelley, Pablo Norita, Albert D. Campos, Dorothy Regan Drake, William Shakespeare, Thomas Nash, John Dunn, Alan Tate, Gary Soto, and Rossard and Federico Gracia Loca. I hope you have got enough knowledge about Ode in this uh, video and we will be talking about uh, other topics in English literature and hope you can enjoy. Bye bye, take care, see you next video.